Blender 4.0, Blender 3.6, 4.0, 3.6. It is the same file. We will go through the file soon and I'm gonna show you this amazing Blender 4.0 feature which gives us a lot more control for the lights for our car designs. But I have to show you again. The same file, Blender 4.0, same file blender 3.6 nothing changed i just rendered both in cycles all right to show you the difference on the left i opened the blender 4.0 you can see it here and on the right we have blender 3.6 you can see it here so the file is the same and i go into the cycles render mode on both of them if my graphics card allow me to do that all right here we go let's zoom in on both of them so it's a little bit noisy of course but you can see on the left we have more pleasant control of the light even if it's the same light and on the right we have some unnecessary reflections around like unpleasant reflections let's say and this is something huge for car design because you know on the car photography sometimes you see these perfect reflections and they are not like by coincidence they really put a lot of effort and a lot of time to catch the perfect reflections and show the key features of the design for example on car design sketching we also put sometimes highlights on the specific part of the car to emphasize it better to show the surfaces while we are avoiding bad reflections on somewhere else of the car so we can finally do it on 3d here on blender i will show it directly on the 4.0 let me show you the setup first because it's also important how you make the composition of the cars here we have four different cars the first one here let me put the material preview is the alfa romeo concept from the advanced blender car design course and we also have gallardo model gt and the muscle car which all are the bonus models for the same course by the way the reason all the cars are black and also the environment is dark is because it's black friday so you have 25 percent discount for all my courses blender beginners course blender advanced course photoshop course car design sketching course everything on my website now is 25 percent discount so please don't miss this opportunity go check my website bergkaplan.com and use the code black25 on the discount code area so that's why everything is black i thought it would be like a nice touch there for mentioning the black friday discount anyway right now in the scene we have five lights so i'm gonna put them all into another collection let's say original lights and i'm gonna hide them let's start from zero first of all i have an hdri going on which is the venice sunrise probably from hdriheaven.com and the strength is 0.3 if it was one it would be a very bright environment but i want this dark effect so i will go with 0.3 so we already dark and i can add my lights now to the scene so the first thing i want to do is emphasizing the silhouette of the car so what i'm going to do is shift a light area light rotate it on x-axis scale it on x-axis move it around bring it a bit closer to the car so now on the render we see that it affects the silhouette of the car but also i see it on the ground this new blender feature is when the light is selected i go to object properties here and under the shading we have now light linking basically it will link the light to the object or the objects that we want so the other objects we don't want will not catch the light it's just amazing let me show you i'm gonna create a new here and i want this light to affect only this alfa romeo so i will go to my alfa romeo collection here when the light is selected i'm gonna drag the alfa romeo under this light linking so as you see the light on the ground disappeared basically it doesn't affect anything else than this alfa romeo now it's still visible under this glass area here so i'm just gonna push it a little bit backwards so basically now it affects it shows only the silhouette of the car which separates the car from the background let's hide it and unhide to see it better looks good we can of course do the opposite i want to put a light now for the foreground to add to light up a little bit the ground but i don't want to direct reflections on the car but i can just add an area light let's come close around here move it up i'm gonna increase the size of it and the power of it so now thanks to this light i can see the texture of the ground better here but let's say i'm not so happy with these reflections because i want to add another light for these reflections like also here on the front fender i don't want to see that so on this light i go to object properties light linking new and I'm going to drag the ground object under here. So now it affects only the ground. So I can move it around. I can do whatever I want. And it doesn't affect our car. So I think you got the idea. I don't want to make all the lights one by one. Because it would be boring. So I'm just going to put them in a new collection. Second light setup. And I'm going to hide it. And bring back the original lights that I did. So it's better to walk through. Rather than setting up everything. Let's go one by one. The first one I added was the silhouette light. Like more or less what we just did. But I kept the reflections also on the ground. Because... 
it kind of adds like um, interesting light here. In that case, it doesn't bother me because it feels like there's a window or a natural light or another light coming from another source and it kind of creates some interesting shading here. I like it. The second light I added is here on the back side of the car because look at the render. Without it, it's super dark here. So I wanted to bring a little bit of lightness to this area. It fits quite well to the car body, but I really don't like this reflection on the side skirt here. Like it is totally unnecessary reflection for me. It's It doesn't have any purpose. It even affects in a bad way my render. So I want to hide the skirt here. So what I'm gonna do is now on the light linking, if you click on the new, and if I bring my, from the Alfa Romeo collection, only this object of the side skirt, and if I drag it to light linking, it only affects the skirt now. But I can just uncheck this box. It makes like the invert selection. So basically now it affects everything, but not the skirt. So that's what I mean by it gives us amazing control because I really wouldn't like this light coming to this skirt and this unnecessary horrible reflection. So I'm just hiding it from the skirt. If you feel like it's a bit of cheating in real life, it would reflect there. So it means the design is bad. Not exactly because also on the photography and real life, you can block the light in a way that it will not reflect to the side skirt and only will be visible on the rest of the car. So it is CGI and it makes our life easier. And the most important thing is to show our idea, to show our design so we can use the light also for this purpose. So the next light is the same thing for putting some more light on the front wheel. It's not even super visible, but it's super dark now. And when, when I turn it on, you see that we have a bit more light coming to the wheel. So it shows that we have a tire here showing a bit more texture. And this light doesn't even have a light linking, so it's fine. The next light is the area three. And as you see, we have the Gallardo and the ground for catching the light. If we didn't have it, if I just turn it off, it has a lot of reflections on Alfa Romeo as well. It doesn't look that bad, honestly, but because of I want to control it more and I don't want it to be that reflective, I wanted to use this light here on the viewport. I wanted this light to only give a little bit of silhouette to the Gallardo and add a little bit more uh, lightness to my composition on the background. That's why I added the light linking. I dragged the whole Gallardo collection here, but now it's a little bit too dark here. So I also added the ground as well. I need to pick the light and drag the ground here. So now this is, I think, more balanced way and a bit more realistic than just hitting it to the Gallardo. But thankfully we can protect Alfa Romeo here. The next light I added is for the body of the Alfa Romeo because it was a little bit too dark as you see. And I basically duplicated this light here and changed the linking part of it. So here is the light. As you see, it affects only the body. If it didn't affect only the body of Alfa Romeo, then we would have this horrible reflection on the glass. Again, on the side skirt, the wheel is a little bit too much, I think harsh, like very strong light here. And also the grunt is too bright. So I wanted to have only emphasizing the sculpture of the body. Like we have a very nice body here and I wanted to put light only there. So on the light linking, create a new and under the Alfa Romeo, I just drag the body of the car. And here we go. If you want to just hide this light, this is before and after. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And the final light is missing in my opinion is to show the curve on the glass, on the roof and the front glass area. So I want the reflection here. And that's why I added this light from the top, this area light. If I hide it and bring it back, we catch this nice reflection on the glass area. But again, it adds, I think, a little bit too much of reflection on the car body. Like here, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see this reflection. Here's some more that I don't want. So basically under the light, light linking, create a new one. Under the Alfa Romeo, I pick the glass, the greenhouse. And if I drag it here, it now affects only the greenhouse area. Let's hide the light and bring it back to see it better. And here we go. So this is the final render done with Blender 4.0 with the light linking. And if I just save the same file, exact same file on 3.6, that's the result that's definitely worse. Basically only the light linking is a different feature here and it really affects the final result. I love it, it gives us a lot of control. And if you are not confident with your Blender skills, you can check out my Blender beginners course and if you wanna level up your game, you can go to my advanced course on my website. Please don't miss the Black Friday discount. There's 25% right now. See you in the courses or see you on the next video. It's also fine.